Hey there, it's Chris from Good Roads, and here on the channel, we do a lot of work with foam. A foam mold has a lot of advantages for a hobbyist board builder. It's fast, it's easy, it's cheap, it's a really great material. But so far on the channel, I've only shown some kind of rudimentary beginner level techniques on how to shape and make foam do the things that we want. And today, today that ends. We are going to build a hot wire foam cutter. A hot wire cutter is a tool that works by heating up a length of resistive wire using electricity. The heat of the wire melts the foam and makes it much easier to cut wide sections and intricate shapes. And you don't need much to build one, just a frame, I'm using PVC, power, I'm using this 12 volt power supply, nichrome wire for the heating element, and a switch, hardware, and wire for the electronics. To start, I'm going to make the frame of my cutter. I'm using PVC cement to bond these three lengths of straight pipe together into a C-shape using these 90 degree elbows. I used a saw to chamfer the ends of the arms of my frame, which will help make assembly a little easier later. I drilled a hole in each arm for an eye bolt to thread into. and I used a step drill to make space for a switch. My switch didn't quite fit into the hole I made, so I cleaned it up some with a knife. The current needs to run from one arm of the cutter to the other, so I measured out some wire and cut it to size. I soldered up my switch and protected my joints with some heat shrink tubing. One of the wires from the switch gets fed through the PVC frame and out the other side. And the other gets fed through the bottom and then the switch can be seated in place. I'm using some hot glue to secure mine. Next, we're going to make the points where our hot wire attaches to the frame. Feed an eye bolt through the hole we drilled in the arm of the cutter and use nuts to clamp the bolt and the wires into place. It would be a much better, much safer plan to have crimp on connectors for the wires here. I didn't have any handy, but I'll be adding them to my setup the first chance I get. Loose wires like this will work, but it is much sketchier than a proper connection. I soldered up the lead for the side of the circuit that goes through the switch and around the frame of the cutter, then bolted the other half in place. Then I tinned the other ends of my wires. And clamped them into the socket for my power source. The nichrome wire that we're using for the cutter will expand as it heats up, introducing slack that will make precise cuts difficult. So it can be good to add some tension to the system. I've seen people do this with springs or weights, and I'm just going to use a heat gun to introduce some back bow into my frame, relying on the springiness of the PVC pipe to keep my wire taut. This isn't actually the first hot wire cutter I've built, but last time I used guitar strings for the hot wire, and that was a nightmare. They constantly broke on me. This time around, I'm springing for the proper materials, and it really isn't that big of a cost. So with the right wire in hand, let's string up our cutter. I attached one end, then compressed the frame and attached the other. Once I release it, the nichrome wire will be nice and taut. So then it was time for a test drive. Wear a mask because the fumes of melting styrofoam are really noxious. But wait a minute, something isn't right here. My initial setup wouldn't heat up. I broke out my multimeter and tested all my connections. I checked the resistance, but something just wasn't working. I don't understand. 
understand. With my limited understanding of electricity and after much Googling, I landed on the hypothesis that my power supply was underpowered. The two amps available just wasn't enough. So I upgraded to a five amp supply, which conveniently used the exact same attachment method. So the upgrade was plug and play. And there we go, hot enough to cut almost instantly. And what about wide cuts? Wow, that's effortless. A little ragged, but that's okay. How about detailed cuts? Can we make detailed cuts? Yep, this thing works great. I have really been putting it through its paces testing it and it works so much better than my previous attempt. It's really a pleasure to use. Seriously y'all, spring for the Nichrome wire. It is night and day as far as ease of use goes. So with a hot wire cutter in the toolbox, we can tackle all kinds of foam related projects that otherwise would have been impossible. There are a ton of possibilities, everything from foam core composites to some new mold making techniques. So if you wanna see stuff like that, and all the other awesome DIY boar sport projects we tackle here on the channel, you're just gonna go have to hit that subscribe button. Shout out to my supporters over on Patreon, the lifeblood of the channel. You guys rock. If you'd like to join them in the support, there'll be a link down in the description. If you got any questions or comments or suggestions for foam related projects, leave them down below. And as always, I love having you guys along for the ride. So until next time, I'll see you soon. Bing bing bang 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 bing bing bang bang bang. Not the easiest instrument to play.